Hi, this is Clay Brown. Hi, this is Trey Senchuk. And we are here today with a public service announcement regarding the wolves in Yellowstone National Park. We have learned some very valuable information about the wolves, and we believe they need to be brought back to Yellowstone as it would yield banging results for the National Park. Before we talk about why the wolves need to be brought back, let's talk a little about the history of the wolves in Yellowstone National Park, located in northwest Wyoming. Let's go to the park and learn all about the history of the wolves. Hey there, I'm glad you were, make it, were able to make it all the way out here to Yellowstone National Park, where I'm going to tell you all about the history of the wolves in this park. According to the radiocarbon dating of a bone found in a cave at Yellowstone National Park, wolves have been living here for up to 960 years. However, due to predator elimination programs in the late 1800s and early 1900s, wolves became prey in the park that they were once top predators in, and by 1926 the last wolf had been shot and killed here. Wolves from Canada would occasionally move down south into Montana and Idaho, but they were never really able to survive and reproduce in order to restore the gray wolf populations in the western portion of the United States. Now let's head back upstairs so even my partner Clay Brown can talk all about the major stakeholders and the reintroduction and the extermination of the wolves in the park. Hi, you're back upstairs with Clay Brown. The reintroduction and the extermination of the wolves in Yellowstone National Park affects many major stakeholders from humans to all species of animals and plants in the park. First, and one of the most key stakeholders, are elk. The reintroduction of wolves will keep the population of elk and coyotes under control. During the drought of the 1930s, elk were considered overabundant and contributed he heavily to range deterioration in the Yellowstone National Park. Elk are the primary prey target of wolves in Yellowstone, therefore the eradication of the wolves would lead to a spike in the population of elk, and the reintroduction of the wolves would cause the elk, elk population to plummet, in other words, be under control. Another major animal stakeholder is the population of grizzly bears. The threatened grizzly bear population of the Greater Yellowstone ecosystem will largely benefit from the reintroduction of wolves. The leftover carcasses by wolves will provide bears with food. However, one of the few few downsides to this is that all is that wolves will rarely kill grizzly bear cubs when around carcasses of animals the wolves killed. Also, avian scavengers such as the raven and the golden eagle will be will be affected greatly. Like the grizzly bears, these birds would scavenge on carcasses left over by the wolves and their populations would rise due to, them mostly to a, due to a mostly sustainable food source. Along with these scavengers, the riparian bird and plant species population will rise due to the depleted elk population that plowed through plants in the banks of rivers that would otherwise be eaten in moderation by birds. Lastly, and one of the biggest reasons that gray wolf population was exterminated, exterminated was their impact on ranchers and their livestock. Wolves will wander into ranchers' pastures and farms and kill their livestock from chickens to cows and pigs. Hi, it's Trey Senchuk back here from Yellowstone National Park. You may not view gray wolves in Yellowstone National Park as a major source of income. However, they contribute to the significant economic benefits. One of the most obvious economic benefits is the gray wolves' attention of tourists. Wolves bring in $35.5 million annually to the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Yeah, I'd be real crunchy with the man who got to see those creatures in person. That's for sure, dude. Along with the revenue it brings in just to see the wolves, the tourists bring in money into local hotels, restaurants, and all kinds of shops and stores around the greater Yellowstone area. The gray wolf also helps fishermen in the area. With wolves hunting deer and elk that graze on streamside vegetation, riparian vegetation increases and in turn decreases the water temperature. This creates a better habitat for fish such as trout, which allows more fishing opportunities for anglers. The reintroduction of wolves will help almost every aspect of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem and is completely necessary as the gray wolf had been a naturally occurring species in the Yellowstone area until humans began hunting the wolves and eradicating them from this area. Having wolves return to their natural habitats is not only beneficial to the wolves themselves, but also to the, natural, also to the habitat itself and other species within the Yellowstone National Park. Wolves being reintroduced allows the wolves to keep the elk and deer population under control. The elk and deer have been roaming Yellowstone without any natural predators to consistently keep their populations under, under control. While it may seem barbaric to reintroduce wolves to the area in order to kill, it is necessary to do so because if the elk and deer populations are not kept under control and they will starve due to the inability to feel, feed all the members of the population. Keeping the elk and deer numbers maintained reduces stream size, grazing, and increases riparian vegetation. With the increased vegetation, 
water temperatures decrease, which creates a more suitable environment for fish such as trout to live in. After a lot of thought and consideration, our opinion to reintroduce the wolves falls under the environmental wisdom worldview. Environmental wisdom is the basic belief that humans are obligated to help the earth in all aspects of it because we are part of it. The reintroduction, in our opinion, opinion will bring more benefits to the Greater Yellowstone area than it will bring harm. The wolves being reintroduced helps not only humans, but it helps other species of plants and animals all over the park. It is our duty to let the public know why we need to have the wolves back in Yellowstone National Park. And we hope that you listen to and understand the very important message we are trying to convey to you today. I'm Trace Zenchuk. And I'm Clay Brown. Let's bring back the wolves. Thank you.